All right, so I'm getting ready to make coffee and I had some questions come in last night about my coffee and about why I am adding everything to my coffee in the morning. So um, I'm gonna walk you guys through um, making my fatty latte and then we'll talk about what each thing is that I'm putting in and why am I putting it in. Good morning, it is coffee time. I'm making ghee, but it's taking so long that I'm gonna have to go to work. So I thought I would just go ahead and come in to make my coffee. So we've got some native calf collagen. Collagen is for hair, skin, and nails. Um, and so um, what this says is for bones, joints, skin, hair, nails, and digestion. I've been using collagen for many years now, so um, I just use this every single day. One thing I can say is that my hair was falling out, and if you can see, it's pretty thick now. So uh, this is Keto Brain's Nootropic. Um, this is a, um, this is for your brain health. Oops, I'm out of there. Getting low. So, uh, this is for, uh, this is a nootropic and, um, it has C8 MCT powder, powder, coconut milk, lion's mane mushroom, L-theanine, alpha size, alpha GPC. And um, this supports brain health. Uh, so this is something that you will have to decide if you want to use it. It does have four carbs, four total carbohydrates, um, and it does have mushrooms. So um, not technically carnivore, but it helps me so much that I decided that it was worth it to use it for me. And uh, so if you're interested in trying this, there's a link down in my description box for that. This is iodine, blue goals 2%. Um, my understanding is that most people are lacking in iodine. So I started taking iodine 10 drops. Um, I started with two drops and now I'm to 10 drops. And uh, you know, we don't get iodized salt. We don't get that little umbrella girl anymore. So we don't get any iodine. <clears throat> um, so this is to counteract that. Um, I'm going to add some butter. Um, so um, I'm doing a high fat challenge, which means that I am using a stick of butter a day. So the reason for that is that um, on carnivore, high fat carnivore, stick of butter I'm testing um, I'm doing it in an n equals one experiment to test and see if a stick of butter a day makes your pants fall off so if you watch folks like Bella from the steak and butter gang and then there's a guy that I used to watch back in the day his name was butter Bob Briggs that's his ch his uh, YouTube channel uh, and talking about having doing a high fat low carb way of eating so i'm doing a high fat carnivore i've been doing it since uh september and now it's october i'm continuing on i decided to do a, a minimum of three months of my stick of butter a day challenge to see does a stick of butter a day make your pants fall off all right let me grab the coffee fill it up to 16 ounces Mm. Yep, time to go to work. It is one o'clock in the afternoon and I'm getting ready to eat food. So I thought I would come in here and uh, do my GKI testing really quick. So we're gonna do our GKI testing. Um, like I said, it is one o'clock in the afternoon. I'm getting ready to take a little bit of training. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and test my ketones and glucose. Yesterday, 
I ate chicken. So I'm trying to determine if chicken causes me any issues. So um, it feels like it gives me some inflammation sometimes. And so I just wanna verify. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna check this GKI index. All right. Oop. Ay. <laughs> that hurts every time. Okay. All right, let's get some blood going here. Seventy nine. Okay. Yeah, so it's definitely higher. Let's see what the ketones are looking like. One point eight. Wow. Okay, so let's see what our GKI is telling us today here. So ketones are 1.8 and blood glucose 79. So our GKI today is uh, 2.44 and our um, Dr. Boz ratio is 43.89. So we're still in, ket in ketosis but we definitely have dropped down quite a bit from yesterday. So if you remember yesterday, my ketones were 3.3 and my glucose, blood glucose was uh, 64. So quite a big difference. All right, you guys, as you guys can see, my training is going on in the background and uh, I'll see you guys a little bit later. Hey guys, um, I'm getting ready to have my break fast. Just wanted to show you what I'm having. So this is actually the rest of my rib tips that I had from the other day. Um, it's about 327, almost 330. And I just, I'm just now breaking my fast. Um, I had uh, done my ketones a couple of hours ago, but then I went into a training session. And so I was just doing training. And uh, so now I'm getting ready to break this fast and enjoy this, uh, these rib tips and finish working for the day. Mm. So good. This young lady was so inspiring to me. Look how enthusiastic she is about her xylophone playing. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of her because just watching her made me feel so happy.